A member of the Colorado Springs LGBTQ community says they were randomly and viciously attacked in broad daylight in their own yard. This happened Saturday and we're not revealing the location for the victim's safety. New side Zach Paxton spoke with the victim. He's in studio tonight. Zach. We've confirmed with Springs Police they are investigating a reported assault with the details matching what you're about to hear. The victim calls it a hate crime. And a warning, the victim's injuries may be upsetting for some viewers to look at. I remember getting hit here. I definitely remember getting hit here. Emmett Davis's wounds still fresh after a violent incident Saturday afternoon. It was very apparent that they were there just, just to attack. Speaking to News 5 from the LGBTQ friendly club Q, Emmett says the attack happened on private property, perpetrated by random intruders. Two young men came into the yard noticed two members of the LGBTQ community and decided like, oh, hey, this is, we don't agree with this. First verbal, then physical. He swung at me. I swung back in self-defense. He swung again. Emmett, the current Mr. Trans Colorado Springs and a member of the drag story time group for kids, says the attackers used homophobic slurs. I do look very gay. I am, I am gay presenting. My partner as well. We were outside. We we're holding hands, talking, you know. Police say they are investigating, but so far no suspects or arrests. Emmett says this should be a lesson in tolerance and understanding and a call to action for civility toward all. We also see the people that do stuff like this, like hate crimes that the people who oppress us, they're human too. Don't get me wrong, I'm angry, but I, I don't hate these people. Emma sustained fractures around the eye and the nose. Springs police tell us they are investigating this as a possible hate crime, but the police report has not yet been completed. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs, Zach Thaxton, News 5.